guys, this is Sonny and today I got a quick video for you guys just showing you guys my Hackintosh uh, running flawlessly with the GTX 960 and as you can see um, I have a I have my old motherboard here uh, Gigabyte Z87X UD4 motherboard now that's one of the best motherboard for a Hackintosh if you are building a Hackintosh if you pick up one of those motherboards it's definitely great motherboard and really really stable so let's just look at here as you can see I have a Yosemite 10.10.1 the reason why I have a 10.10.1 because there is no driver for GTX 960 for the 10.10.3 uh, latest update and uh, I don't want to update yet as you can see my processor uh, showing as an e5 now that's not an e5 processor uh, the processor I have is a Xeon e3 1241v3 the processor goes about like 270 I think the price and it's a great processor basically the same as a core i7 except uh, you can overclock this processor and uh, you don't have integrated uh, GPU so that's the only thing and as you can see my graphic card NVIDIA graphic uh, device 2047 uh, 2 gig version uh, also temporary I'm using um, ECC RAM right now uh, as you can see I'm using ECC RAM because um, my brother had laying around he let me borrow so this is a 2 gig uh, version each and they're 1333 and you know but it's and I, I set them up to 1600 so you know, they're running pretty good for for some reason I just want to inform you guys and let you guys know if you're using ECC RAM in your regular desktop computer, you are not going to get any advantage out of it. ECC RAMs are for uh, servers and for error correction. So as, there is another like chip in ECC RAM that control or the error correction and all that. So you don't really need that. The ECC RAM will slow you down a little bit. So you better off going with the regular RAM other than ECC RAM. Only reason I'm using because I had some laying around. Um, so yeah, as you can see my setup here, I have uh, I can see it from here. Okay, I have a Gigabyte Z87 X UD4 motherboard with, uh, with the processor Xeon E3 1241V3. The cooler I have H Corsair H55. The graphic card I have EVGA G4 GTX 960 FTW and the case I have NZXT S340 so it's a great setup guys if you guys are thinking about building a Hackintosh and you want to stay in thousand dollar you know maybe less than thousand dollar depend where you buy the parts and stuff this is a great you know computer you can <laughs> build for every attacks for gaming for uh, video editing anything and real quick I'll run uh, Geekbench for you guys so you guys can see what I'm talking about now I get about 15,000 Geekbench uh, mind you with 8 gig of RAM with this processor this thing beat Apple uh, quad core Mac Pro the one goes for $3,000 mind you I built the system for like 1100 max so I don't know I don't know what to say guys don't go buy the Mac Pro for $3,000 <laughs> it's your choice I'm, I'm just saying and if you guys are wondering what screen I have looks cool right uh, that's the HP Pavilion 23XI IPS LED great um five millisecond refresh refresh rate and uh, it's a 60 heart so i think five minutes in reaction i don't know how to exactly say but it's, it's okay for if you game and stuff um not bad but you know if you're a professional uh gamer then you should have one millisecond with like 144 heart
As you can see right here, this thing Gigbench. Mind you, that's a stock Xeon processor with no overclock because you can overclock this Xeon processor. And I'm getting with 8 gig of RAM 1600 and I'm getting 15,000 uh, multi core and 3,900 single core. And as you can see, see right now you can see my processor. It's a great processor. Uh, if you guys have a micro center next to you, you could pick one up for like 250, but if not, I don't know. And let's do a Cinebench. You guys want to check out the Cinebench. Just, I'm trying to find where I have it. Right here. Right. So let's do my graphic test first so you guys can see. Uh, mind you again, um, Yosemite is not recognizing my graphic card as a GTX 960. So. Should get well about 120 frames. Open GL. If I'm not wrong. Nah, I didn't go up there. So it's about 98. Uh, yesterday when I did uh, bench, uh, it, it did about like 120. So let's do CPU right now. And uh, let's go see. Now, for the multi-purpose, you know, if you want, if you want to use a computer for like video editing or app development or like Photoshop, go with a Xeon processor or or something new like X99 setup, at least at 5820K, uh, because these processors are known for like multi-purpose of work. Like you know, this thing could handle like 10 things at a time. So that's why Xeons are known for. That's why anything quad-core with hyper threading not core i5 is not a great uh, multi uh, work processor i that's the only reason i didn't go with the core i5 yes i did build the system first this one with core i5 but then i really didn't like it so zeons are the way to go as you can see i guess 742 and that's not bad and right top on me as you can see, there is a Core i7. Now, mind you, this processor you can find it, and if you do find it right now in New York, it costs about three hundred fifty dollar Core i7 for something, and I paid two hundred fifty dollar. So two hundred fifty dollar, I'm getting this speed. It's not bad at all. And yeah, guys. So let me know what you guys think. You know, like I say, if you guys are thinking about building a Hackintosh and you are gonna use a graphic card. Let's go with the Xeon processor because you could really beat on your system and trust me this thing will be way faster than Apple 2900 Mac Pro and uh, even the iMac so yeah guys let me know what you guys think and leave the comment below if you have any question please don't forget to ask me and don't forget to like and subscribe peace